Hello and welcome back again to my channel. My name is Nora G. So previously I had shown you how to make maki number 40 with lights and so today I will be showing you how to make balloon mosaic numbers using Dollar Tree foam boards. So this will be a Dollar Tree foam board DIY. Alright, so let's get into it. For this DIY balloon mosaic number 18, I will be using Dollar Tree foam boards as you can see, as well as some white duct tape and just like I did in the previous video for the marquee number 40, alright? So I will use this number 18 which I basically made on Word and instead of doing a large template like I did for the number 40, I will be using this projector which I got from Amazon. I am going to link this down below in the description box for anyone interested. Also, if you still want to use the template, I still have those. So you can reach out to me if you're looking to get the templates. I still saw those as well. If you feel the projector may be too expensive for you. So as you can see, the projector basically will project the number and you can actually adjust the size to however big you want this to be. All right, so I am tracing out the number. Um, from the projector and with number eight because the bottom is rounded I made sure to cut that out a little bit so it actually can stand Next I will use my exacto knife and pencil and first of all trace out the, the faint lines Which I had sketched from the projector and then we'll go ahead using my exacto knife to cut it out Just watch as I do this So if you are working on a wooden surface like I am currently doing, you may want to put uh, a chopping board underneath or uh, some kind of a hard surface that will make it easy for you to cut out your, your stencil without damaging your floor, okay? This Dollar Tree foam board number is very affordable because of course the foam boards do not go past a dollar fifty if you're in the states that's just a dollar for you and i just find the number eight very very sexy that is by the way <laughs> okay for the number one like you had seen me trace using the projector i had to add an extension at the bottom because uh, my number one actually has legs if i can call them that okay so i'll go ahead and trace that and before cutting it out I also got a lot of questions from the previous video for the marquee number 40 I'm asking what kind of tape I used all right so just to clear that up I currently used uh, the white dot tape okay from the Dollar Tree now using these bad guys I'm going to go on to create the frame of our number 18 for our 18 birthday decoration ideas at home These foam boards measure 20 by 30. So um, I'm going to cut them into two. So going 10 by 10 to create the frame because I need for this to be deeper than the number 40 marking number that I made since we will be filling this up with balloons. All right, so I made a total of about 15 because um, the number eight, of course, is gonna use more than the number one. And also because number eight, as beautiful as it is, can be a lot more work. And that is majorly because it has a lot of curves. So I used my X-Acto knife to create some incisions on the already cut out um, frames that I have made. And then just like you have seen me do, I made sure to make it flexible enough for me to be able to use around my number eight. I'll go ahead to do some more of this and then we will go on to build our frame around our number 8. Just watch as I complete this. Okay, so one thing what you have mentioned here is that when you're making these incisions, do not make them too deep, else you're going to break it when you try to make them even more flexible. So just do it lightly and then you use your hand when you're trying to make it flexible to make it even more um, deeper. Okay, so if you're looking for some 18th birthday ideas or Dollar Tree party decorations DIY, you may want to check this video. You may want to check the description box for my previous video on how I made the marquee number 40 
with lights, 5 feet. This Dollar Tree DIY birthday decor, mosaic number 18, is brought to you by a lovely mother looking to surprise her 18-year-old baby girl. Okay, so this was a very fun project for me, especially because I love surprises. Anything that has to do with surprise, just call me and I'll be right there, okay? <laughs> so if you're in my area and surrounding cities and you're looking to surprise a loved one or maybe just celebrate them, make sure to check my website in the link below, all right, in the description box. However, if you're looking to doing it yourself, that is what I'm here for, to show you how to do this yourself. You can definitely use my videos to do so and also if you're looking to getting the templates from 0 to 9 and A to Z, you can also reach out to me. Link can be found in the description box and also the pinned message. Thank you. So, if you've watched right up to this point, Sticking to the tradition of Norwich's new, please do comment mosaic in the comment section below and show your girl some love, okay? I really do appreciate you all for sticking right up to this point in this video and even more so for sticking with me throughout this journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now let's carry on. So, can you rate my figure 8 in this state, mate? <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. I'm just playing, right? I just really, really need to get that out of my system because eight is the state. All right. <laughs> Anyways, I know I play too much, but yeah, eight is the state of mind right now for me. <laughs> anyway, so carrying on, I just went ahead to complete the number one and which was very easy. To be honest, number one is the easiest of them all, obviously, because, you know, it's just one straight line anyhow so once i'll be done with this we'll move on to the next state oh not state because of eight all right we'll move on to the next stage which will be to fill this in with balloons at this point you can use lights if you wanted to like i did for number 40 as you can see or you could keep it as is like you can see right now but if for this case, we will be filling it up with balloons. All right, so I got these balloons from Amazon. I will link them down below in the description box as well. These are amazing, amazing balloons. I tell you, I've used this a lot of times and I can vouch for this. So now let's carry on. This air balloon palm actually makes my work so much easier. It cuts my work for me all right i'm going to link this in the description box as well for those of you looking to maybe purchasing this and it is so cheap so you can click on the link below and check it out if it's something that you would like to use for your business for your home just because you can go ahead and purchase that as well thank you so i started off with the larger balloons 11 inch balloons placing them in the number eight how i wanted it to be so you want to take a look first make sure you place them correctly before you go on to glue it using your low temperature hot glue okay make sure it is a low temp hot glue because if you use a very hot one of course your balloons are going to pop okay so once i have marked the areas and how i wanted to have the placement i went ahead to glue the balloons onto my number eight just watch as I do this. Make sure to use a generous amount of hot glue at this point, okay? So I went ahead and did the same for number one. And as you can also notice, I blew the balloons in different sizes for the 11 inch, 11 inches. I will do the same for the five inches. The idea is to have balloons in different proportions in your uh, balloon garland or your mosaic number your balloon mosaic okay that is what will give you that mosaic look and that is what is going to make it to stand out so i will be using the five inches balloons to fill in the gaps as you can see all the gaps that you see on there will be filled in using the five inch balloons that is what is going to make your balloon garland or your balloon mosaic number stand out so just watch as i do this 
To do the same kind of balloon style that I'm currently doing, you'll be needing more 5 inch balloons than 11 inches. So um, that is because I think I used only about 10 of each color for the large ones, that is for the 11 inches. And for all the smaller ones, the 5 inches, I actually used over 75 per color. Yeah. That is a lot of um, small balloons, but of course, because they do not cover enough space and you need a lot of them to actually give it that, you know, balloon garland, organic balloon garland look that I was going for. The idea here is to surround the larger balloons using the smaller five inch balloons, as you can see me doing. All right, so you just keep going until you feel you've covered enough spaces and then your balloon garland is set. All right, so just look at a number eight. I love the color combination for this. It is perfect for an 18 year old. I went ahead and did the same for number one. And now for our big reveal, here is our final look. Please do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are about our number 18 balloon mosaic number, okay? And also, if you're looking to see how I would do this with lights, make sure to check out my McKean number 40 video. Link can be found in the description box below. Please let me know which one are you? Giant numbers with lights or giant numbers with balloons? Comment below. I hope this Dollar Tree Foam Board DIY shows you how to make a balloon mosaic number. And also, if you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.